Okay, back with another WeatherXM update, this time post the mainnet announcement. I'm here with Thodorist, the uh, blockchain or one of the blockchain engineers over at uh, WeatherXM. I'm doing my level best to pronounce his name, so if I get that wrong, that's my bad. Dude, good to see you. Welcome to, uh, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming on. Good to see you. Good to see you, Nick. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm really excited about the the recent announcement. I know the community is as well. I've seen a ton of questions on Discord. Um, most of the answers that we're going to cover today are also in Discord, but a lot of folks just watch videos. So let's uh, let's go through them. We'll start with a big one. Um, when is WeatherXM mainnet launching? The WeatherXM mainnet is set to launch on May 13th. May, uh, May 30th, right? So we're uh, six days out, I think, from when we record this, and we'll drop this yes. in the next day or two. Perfect. And I should have said at the beginning, uh, I covered it briefly, but what, what do you do at WeatherXM? At WeatherXM, I'm, uh, I'm with WeatherXM for uh, for the past two years. Mm -hmm. And I'm a blockchain engineer. I have contributed a lot to the development of the smart contracts and the rewarding mechanism. Got it. Okay, cool. So this is a, the, all these questions are, are really well fit for you. What um, Let's see, next one I'm seeing is what network is Mainnet using? The WeatherXM Mainnet will be the Arbitrum 1. Arbitrum one. Okay. Yeah. And then I've seen a bunch of folks ask, do they have to use a MetaMask wallet? What's what's the requirement there? No, no. Uh, you can use any VM compatible wallet. Okay. Pretty easy. And then I've seen, I think we can skip kind of some of this part, but I've seen a lot of folks asking, how do you add Arbitrum one network to the wallet? Just check the directions in Discord. That's probably the, the yeah, easiest yeah, way to sure. This is super easy. You can check the Discord main at FAQ to get all instructions regarding that matter. Perfect. And then I've seen a ton of people ask about uh, tokens. What are the exchanges that are going to list WeatherXM on launch? So uh, our official centralized exchanges, where you will be able to buy, swap, and sell WXM starting on May 13th uh, at 11 o'clock BTC, uh, is Gate.io, Bitmark, MEXC. And uh, we are going to bring some tokens in the Solana ecosystem. So our token will be available on Swissborg. Additionally, the WXM token will also be available for trading on Uniswap. This is our uh, official decentralized exchange. Right on. And you guys are firing that off early for us uh, West Coasters over here in the US. I know that kicks off at 4 a.m. on May 30th uh, Pacific, 7 a.m. Eastern. So for our American friends, uh, you better get up early in the morning if you want to be sure. want to watch that thing fire off. Let's see, uh, tons of questions around using ETH uh, for fees when claiming tokens and how much that's going to cost. Lots of conceptions and misconceptions there. Walk me through that. So, uh, yes, you will need this. You will need to fund your wallet with uh, ETH for fees to claim the WXM tokens, of course, on the Arbitrum 1 network. The fees on Arbitrum 1 network are significantly lower compared to the Ethereum mainnet, often costing just a few cents per transaction. However, the exact cost can vary depending on the network congestion. Got it. And you're, I mean, you're kind of a blockchain native. I know a lot of us are used to ETH being super high fees, but this is, it's almost the opposite. They're incredibly low fees from what I've seen. Yes. And this is one of the main reasons why we have chosen the Arbitrum 1 network. Okay, cool. Um, for folks who want to dig in and check transactions, what's the, what's the best way to do, best way to do that? You can use the Arbitrum Block Explorer. This is the, Arbit the Arbitscan.io to check okay. all our transactions and other network activities regarding the smart contracts. Okay, cool. And then uh, folks have asked tons of questions about this next kind of section, which is really about the change from testnet to mainnet. Uh, is there anything people have to do in the app? Are there any updates they have to make? What do they have to do in the app? No, no, no. Uh, the main change will happen automatically for everyone. You don't need to change anything at all in the mobile apps or the web app. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it should should work super well. Um, I always expect a little bit of turbulence, but I think the end result of this thing is you don't have to do anything. So at the very second, we'll have a couple of screamers saying it didn't happen right away. Just wait a bit. Should be fine. Um, I've also seen folks asking if they can change their wallet address in the future or also like what, what will happen if people change their wallet address. So kind of walk me through that if I had one and I want to shift to another. You can change your wallet address in the future whenever you, you want. Just okay. be mindful. The rewards are allocated daily per your wallet. So if you change your wallet in the future, 
the rewards up to that moment are allocated to, the, to your previous wallet. Unclaimed rewards can only be claimed by the connected wallet address at the time of the rewards allocation. So just be careful which address you use. Yeah. Yeah, it is funny in the blockchain world. Like I think I, at least I all, you know, have a ton of different addresses because I'm always like, oh, I don't want to connect all my stuff to everything. So it's like constantly putting in new wallets. But just know that whatever wallet is connected to the station, that that is the one that's going to be earning the tokens. If you want to change your wallet, that's fine. But the new wallet will be earning the tokens and you'll still have to access the old wallet to get the tokens that were earned when that station was earned. Okay. Um, and then huge one, huge question here. If we claim tokens uh, prior to mainnet, uh, what happens? Do they go to testnet? Do we get those? Should I do that? Should I not do that? Walk me through that. Give that a look. The beta rewards are on testnet. So when when we do the main uh, loans, you don't have to do nothing with those uh, with those tokens. All those are for testnet purposes, for development purposes. Just that. Got it. And I think of that like this, at least in the American school system, you go through the year and you, you take a bunch of like practice tests before you take the final exam. And for the most part, the practice tests don't count at all. They're just practice tests. The only thing that counts is the final exam. And this is a way to think of like all those practice tests, whether you got an A, a B, an F, whatever it was, all that's getting thrown basically in the in the trash. Like that doesn't matter. Um, the only thing that matters is the final exam thing, which is the the switch to mainnet. So it might be it's helpful to think of it that way. All the tokens are going to be thrown away. You can't uh, change, exchange them anywhere. Yeah. 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 No, I, we're going to get some screamers about that. And that doesn't mean that the, all that work that you did was valueless. It just means that it was tracked for mainnet and all the test stuff was for for testing. I've seen a bunch of stuff about um, different quests, which I haven't followed super closely, but I did see one question about connecting two wallets on different accounts for X and Discord. Can you do all the quests? It sounds like. That's a little bit too complex. Is that, is that right? Yes. Yeah. No, you, you can't do it. You can't do that. Can't do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then for folks who have um, problems when they're encountering issues during setup or whatever, what uh, what are the best ways to get those solved? The best way always is to come to us with any questions you have on Discord, with ask us, uh, or via the hashtag help center channel on Discord. Yeah. So let's make a, a very clear point about this because I think you and I may be blockchain native more and, and understand it. But as we switch to, to mainnet, um, we're going to get a bunch of scammers come in as, as these tokens come out. So if you have a problem, uh, if you need help with it, make sure that you're getting help publicly in Discord. If you get a DM from someone, it might look like me, it might look like Fedoras, it might look like someone from WeatherXM. If you get a DM from them and they start it, ignore that. That is a scam. Stay away from that. Don't touch that. Um, that's going to be a scam. So the only things that you should trust is what happens publicly in Discord. And especially if you're moving fast, just be very, very careful. Let other people weigh in and say like, hey, hey don't, don't do that one. Um, or you can just go directly through the WeatherXM support channels, which are probably going to be your best bet. But just one of the one of the benefits of a successful project is it attracts scammers, so be careful. <laughs> cool. Um, and then for folks who are looking to add WeatherXM tokens to their wallet, I think it's probably easiest to just send them to Discord. Is there anything that you would add um, that they might want to yeah. do there? Correct, correct. Go to Discord, main at FAQ, and all the instructions are there for you. Okay. Dude, thanks a ton for coming on and going through the basics. Is there anything else that you think people should know that really has to do with kind of the blockchain side of going to mainnet? Just come to us for whatever reasons. I will ask all your questions on Discord. That's it. Okay. Cool. So, Dude, thanks so much for making the time. I appreciate, uh, appreciate it on Friday night. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you a lot, Nick.